What's going on YouTube? It's <laughs> Let's talk about dedication and feeling a little bit demotivated because it's 12 14 at night and I've committed to do one live stream and one video every day. People say don't you burn out, try not to get burnt out, blah 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 blah, but that's not how it is. This is a challenge to me to produce a video every single day and I think that you guys watching this can take this, uh, you know, I, I make time to do this and I'm gonna do it no matter what and it's a challenge to myself to see how long I can fulfill this promise to make one video and one live stream every single day for as long as I can, right? Till I get to where I wanna go, you know? But I had a video planned for today. I was gonna interview the CEO of Lambda School but he had plans that popped up and you know, it's not, I mean, it's just life, right? So you have to prepare for distractions. The more prepared for distractions you are in your life, the better you can just, you know, expect the unexpected. I know that sounds cliche, but every day I wake up and I'm like, something's probably not gonna go as planned today. And then, you know, number step one, don't get upset about it. Step two, all right, now what? All right, then step three, execute. And so it's 12, 14 at night. I've given myself approximately one hour to create this video, um, so, I'm gonna really push myself so that I can get this video today. I still have to wake up in a few hours and get up and go to the gym and make another video tomorrow and do another live stream. You know, I make time to do this and I want to help you guys out, but I was feeling a little bit like, how can I do this? So I, you know, I started reading books, listening to books, watching motivational YouTube videos. Greatness is attained over time and now, you know, you define greatness, but it's the small little things of just ABC always be closing always be closing if you start something you're gonna finish something so without further ado I did uh, I came up with another video that I want to do today and we're gonna talk about agile development scrum and Kanban so let me go ahead and break that down for you agile methodologies is an iterative workflow and what I mean by that is you work in sprints you have a set amount of time a set amount of tasks and you work to get those tasks done then you have what's known as scrum and Kanban and there are different versions of agile methodologies pretty much. It's like when you have uh, liquid water and ice, that's Scrum and Kanban, they're the same thing, just different forms. And so I'm gonna explain that to you in this video and you'll see that almost on every single job application. If you scroll down, you'll be like familiar with agile methodologies and it's plural, right? So that's Scrum, Kanban. You can even combine the two and do Scrumban. I think that's probably the most popular. Again, there's no hard way to do this. There's no set in stone way to do this. It depends on the company culture, depends on the size of the team, depends on what the task is exactly, uh, depends on the budget, uh, if a deadline has changed, how likely things are. So things are up in the air, but there are some clear differences and I'm gonna show you what they are and I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, but before I jump in, I just wanna say thanks to Josh um, Flaslo, the Martin Fee for supporting the channel on Patreon, and I want to say thanks to the seven people that bought some shirts and coffee mugs, because I was really thinking that no one was going to buy a shirt, but I'm going to have mine, and then I'm going to be looking hopefully decent in it, <laughs> but if you like these videos and you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and I'll make sure to, you know, I'll, I'm going to keep producing content regardless, but you know, if you want to see more, get notified. You know, click that subscribe button. I would appreciate that. Um, I have a Discord. We're always chatting in there. Really live group of people. We have people from all over the world, so people are always talking, even if I'm asleep. But if you do join when I'm asleep and I wake up, I will welcome you to the server. I want everyone to feel like they have a place, right? Because I've been in your shoes trying to learn how to do this, or you know, I just want to help you out. That's my goal with this channel, provide information, provide value. Um, but having said that, let's jump on in to the computer, so into the computer. Was this like Ready Player One? Let, let's jump to the screen share and then I'll show you how this works and, and what I mean. Okay, so there's a few different popular software packages that companies use. I'm just gonna go through a couple of the ones that I've worked with personally. So there's Jira software. You can see some screenshots here and you can see they're always kind of on boards like this and there's different icons here you can see. These are like different priorities if it's moving left or right and so this is a typical Kanban board but I'll, I'll get to that more but when they say experience with Jira this is what they mean uh, they all kind of look similar have similar concepts right um, it just depends on what you need and what features you want from the software so Jira software is a really popular one It's from the Atlassian suite 
Atlassian, I don't know how to say it, but they own Bitbucket also. So we have Asana, Asana is also a, a similar type of you know, management system pretty much. You can see the, the GIF, she's dragging and dropping cards around and you have a product launch and you can say who does what and then on the day and the timeline and all that stuff. Uh, so I've used Asana before, I used it at my very very first job, uh, but I don't remember too much of it. Uh, they've probably updated it a whole bunch since then. And then we have Clubhouse. Clubhouse is where you assign points to different tasks and pretty similar. I mean, they're all kind of in columns like this and you move things around and they just have different filters and sorting. Then we have Task World. This one, again, looks some columns over here and like that. So I'm going to go over here to the actual Kanban board that I made for this video. And this is using Trello. Trello is free. The the premium version, like if you want to mess with people's permissions or different like plugins they have, but otherwise it's pretty much free and there's no ads. So let me explain how this Kanban board works. You have your typical columns to do, in progress, testing, ready for release, and release. This is a, like, a pretty standard version. You might have more or, or maybe, I don't know, about less columns. You might not have a testing if you don't test, but you should be. Um, but you might have more columns specific columns to what you need but these are like the core foundation so the, this this would be the list of tasks that you need this would be you know if you're working on it you put it here and you can see that I've tagged myself to it if I click on it I can click members and I can tag myself so you would tag whoever is responsible for it and then you can give it a deadline a due date attachment checklist make sure everything's good to go and all these softwares have similar similar UI similar concepts um, and then you have testing, right? So you're supposed to test before you release. And then you have ready for release. And then when it gets actually released. And so you'd have a set list of tasks here. And that would be your sprint. These would be all the tasks that you need to do during a sprint, which is a core foundation of agile methodologies. And this is a Kanban board. And so I know it looks like it's going from left to right, um, and like it's pushing through. But Kanban is actually pulling. So imagine a list of people let me zoom out a little bit. Imagine a list of people over here that are different resources and you're assigning these resources to come over here and grab the task and pull it through the phases. So don't think that you're pushing things through. If you do that, that's kind of like a, a waterfall methodology. But waterfall methodology is completing a bunch of tasks one step at a time, whereas agile methodology is like getting it through the complete process as fast as possible. Okay, so what I've just described to you is Kanban Agile methodology. Um, you can combine this with, with what's known as um, Scrum. Now, Scrum is a more organized way of doing things. To do something in Scrum, you, you need to build like a cross-functional team. So you'd have a team full of people with different disciplines. That way you can drag it through or pull it, you can pull it through the these processes as fast as possible without having to go and reach out to another person like your team is built you have a front end guy a back end guy a testing guy you have a scrum master that's making sure that developers have all have everything they need you have a product manager who's talking to the customer directly and seeing if they need anything or what we're developing is going to work for them and that way that's like your team so you don't have to reach out to different departments as you get to a certain step like you have that all compact and ready to go. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use a Kanban board to do this, although it is pretty popular. I mean, uh, they tend to ebb and flow. They tend to mix when you're doing these things. In general, Kanban is way less structured. It's it's a, it's like a less strict version of, of Scrum. Okay, so in Scrum, you've probably heard of stand-ups, daily status updates, right? So you have a stand-up, that's when you give your status update. Um, and then there's also called sprint planning meetings where you have this huge list of tasks over here but you only have so many resources and you want to pull in the ones that you think that you could complete in a week or two weeks or however long your sprint is you would take from this huge list of tasks and pull them over in the to do and you would plan out how long you think each one of those tasks would take you. you you just give a rough estimate generally the rule is you have an estimate you take that and then you double it that's like the play it safe game. So if you think it's going to take you a day, all right, just go ahead and say it's going to take you two days. And then even if you get to that two-day mark, go ahead and inform someone like, look, I don't think it's going to happen. Never let it just go overdue. Don't let that happen. Just, you know, be transparent about what you're doing. So 
uh, everyone can stay in constant communication and this methodology helps that. And then, so that's like the planning meeting, but you also have sprint review meetings. So at the end of the two weeks or the week, and you know, let's say that you have most of them over and then there's still one that's like in progress. So you go over it and you review it and you see like, all right, what went wrong? What could I have done better? How could this improve for me? Like, did I overestimate? Did I underestimate? What, like, what happened here? And then you review and then you just keep iterating on that until you get faster and faster and faster and the dev teams just kind of uh, flow better. Now, this depends on the team, right? Like, if you have a very functional team that has synergy and works well together or you have people that don't work well together and this happens in companies more than you more than you think. Let me tell you about me. Like at, at work right now, for me, I am doing kind of like a, a loose Kanban. We do have a daily stand-up, but uh, there's only three of us, so it doesn't make sense for us to have like a sprint, sprint planning meeting and a sprint review meeting. Um, we just have deadlines, and I'm working on front-end stuff. The other guy's working on back-end stuff, and then the other guy is the CTO. So it doesn't really make sense. We all kind of know what we're working on, and we all know what we're doing. If you have a team of like 15 people, 16 people, then you, yeah, you all need to sit down and you talk this out. But we're in constant contact all day, every day. And uh, even, you know, on the weekends, we're still communicating. So it's not that big of a deal. So it depends on the size of your team, depends on the project that you're working on. You can combine them and you can do what's known as Scrumbon, which I'm not quite sure how to show you this on Trello, but on certain boards, you would have like a horizontal line that goes across. And let's just say they'd be sectioned out. So you'd have front-end stuff up here, UI stuff below that, um, maybe some back-end stuff, and then maybe some bug fixes below that. So th th those would be called swimming lanes so that you can push certain sections of whatever you're working on faster or slower. So, all right, we need to, we need to cover the, the bug fixes today. All right, so you'd work on this swimming lane, or actually I put it at the bottom. So you'd work on these tasks over here in this swim lane and push them through. And so it, they would just be, like, different sections of what you would see. Uh, I know people might say that, okay, a Kanban board is when you use like sticky notes on a wall and then you move them from, from section to section. I mean, if you want to do it that tactile, you can, but this works just as well. Um, but that's, that's kind of the difference. Um, I hope this has been informative. When they ask you about it in the interview, now you know what to say. Remember, Kanban is a pulling, not pushing through. You're, you, you have resources and you're, you're pulling them through the process. Well, how is Agile different than Waterfall, all right? So you want to tell them that Waterfall isn't concerned with getting it through the complete process as fast as possible. Waterfall is concerned in getting it to each phase, getting all of them to each phase. So if I had another card, call it test, then I can assign myself to it. So Waterfall is, getting, is concerned with getting this one done and then this one done, like all at the same time, whereas... Uh, if you had Agile, this one could be here, this one could be here, and then this one could be done, and you're still working on this one. You're just trying to get them all done as fast as possible. And then all of the different methodologies behind the, the Scrum that I talked about with the planning and the review and the daily stand-ups, and um, all this is really common. I'm sure you've heard of it, but if you want to get technical, I hope that this video has kind of helped you, at least in some form. And if it has, I would appreciate it again if you hit that little subscribe button subscribe to the channel, and then let me know what you think. Um, maybe I goofed on, on this, and you can call me out in the comments below, but it's late, so at least give me a little credit. It's 12.35 a.m. as I'm looking at the clock. See you tomorrow in the live stream and the daily video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>